I have water. But I also have a Diet Dr. Pepper cream soda. It's so good. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my long wearing foundation makeup routine. These are a couple of steps that I like to use, especially when it gets really, really hot and humid, which I live in Florida, so that is practically all the time. Um, especially right now, we're in June, it's getting really, really hot um, outside. It's raining all the time, so the humidity feels like we live in a swamp. I definitely have to take some extra steps to make sure that my makeup is lasting. My oils and my T-zone tend to break down my makeup within hours of me applying it. So doing this, these few steps of just really packing on a lot of powder onto my face and make sure it's really set so it doesn't look powdery. So even though I've applied so much powder, it still gives me this more natural glowy look that I personally like. I really don't love a matte face. I like when my face has like a natural sheen to it um, and it just looks like skin. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look and to make sure it's long wearing and to still make it look like skin, go ahead and keep on watching. Oh look, there's one more. To start off, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I really do like this stuff. I think it's nice and lightweight. I'm just going to go ahead and really press this into the skin. I'm going to kind of concentrate it where I do have more pores, which is basically all of my face. I usually would use a nice glowy product like the Milani Soft Focus Glow, but honestly, I've been getting so oily lately, I don't want to add any more glow. But if you do like that and you, your skin can handle it, you can go ahead and add that before this, but I'm really just going to work this in. And this doesn't do like crazy wonders for your pores, it kind of just creates a nice base for your foundation to kind of smooth over. I think I'm going to put a little bit more right here in the cheek area where I have some of my acne scarring. Next thing I do before I go in with foundation is I'm going to take a loose powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I use the shade 10 Fair Light. And I'm just going to put a little bit into the top of the product. I grab a flat foundation brush. This one I believe is from Cosmetics. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of this powder, just grab a little bit on the brush. I'm really working this into the brush, tapping off the excess. And then now I'm just going to press it where I get oily, which is basically my T-zone. So I'm just going to press this into the T-zone on the sides of my nose because I get really oily there. And on my chin. And then going out into my cheek area. A little bit over my eyelids because I do get really oily eyelids. So just lightly whatever's left on my brush going over my eyes. And then once we get the powder nice and worked in, I'm just going to get whatever's left and put it over my cheeks. Because I'm going to be putting a liquid on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and set the powder so it's not powdery and foundation doesn't cling to it. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take my sponge. This is my Equal Tools. Blend. So I'm going to spray some setting spray on there. My two favorite setting sprays from the drugstore that help really make your makeup last longer is the Milani Make It Last and the Catrice Multi Talent Fixing Spray. The, these two are really, really good for helping your makeup last longer. Lately, I've been really into this Catrice one. It's my newer one. I've been loving Milani. I think this is like my third bottle of this. And this is my first one. So I've been loving this one. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Catrice spray. The way I'll do it is spray it with a few sprays on the flat surface. Kind of get the extra moisture off by pressing it into the back of my hand and then go in over the powder. And also this is kind of priming your skin with any of the benefits and the claims that the spray has. I'm going to go into my favorite drugstore foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear and I use the shade 430 Ivory Buff, if any of you are close to my skin tone. I'm going to take about a few pumps of this. Are you any low? That's sad. I'm going to take the little rounded end and I'm just going to pump this onto my skin. This foundation looks so good all day. It looks like it's exactly what the name claims, which is fresh. 
I'm gonna use the edge of this sponge for the nose area. Now I'm not going to add any more. If you want more coverage, we're gonna get that from our concealer. Look how fresh that looks, it looks like skin. And it lasts really well, it wears really well. She really does act like her life is so hard. She's the most full little baby ever. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. So I'm just gonna apply it down the side of the nose, like this, and then just a little bit right here. So I had a friend ask me for tips um, on concealer. She said that her concealer didn't wear very long and then it just wore really fast. And I asked her if she was wearing enough. Cause sometimes you'll put like a little bit, especially if you don't love wearing a ton of makeup or this looks like a lot of makeup. But if you're not putting enough on, whatever little bit you are using throughout the day that's gonna break down. And if it's not a lot, it's gonna break down a lot faster. So if you're not used to using a ton of it, I definitely would go slowly and build it up as you go because as long as you're not setting it right away, you can always build up and add. So I'm doing this technique that's supposed to be lifting to the eyes. So you're putting it on the side of the nose right here and then lifting the eyes over here. So definitely putting on enough concealer is going to help this last longer and then really blending it out and not swiping it, just kind of dabbing it in. Now you can use this technique with your fingers, you can use it with a sponge, with a brush, whatever you have. So once I have my under eyes done and blend it out, I'm gonna go ahead and look at my skin and see where I want a little bit more coverage. I have some scarring over here, so I'm gonna cover that up. And I have a little blemish. I'm starting to get a bunch of texture over here, and I don't know why. And then only placing concealer where you want the coverage and not everywhere else is going to also help so your skin doesn't look so heavy. So one thing I do like to do is let the product melt into the skin. So I'm going to leave it on while I do my brows without setting it and then we'll go into set it. So I'm just going to throw on my brows really quickly and I'll be right back. Alright, so my brows are on. So I've let the foundation and concealer kind of sit on the skin. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take some powder. I'm going to use two different powders um, and they're both loose powders because I feel like that sets the makeup a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and take my sponge and take care of any creasing that happened, especially under the eyes. I'm taking the same Fit Me Loose powder. This is going to go under my eyes. I'm going to take it on the sponge like that and we're going to Go ahead and push it underneath and we're just going to dab it and we're just going to let that bake. Now that we have some baking going on, we're going to go ahead and set the rest of the face. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Shine Free loose powder in light now the only bad thing about this powder is there's not a bunch of color options it's just white or medium um, and i have both of them and they both will work for me which is not the best because if you have anything lighter or darker you're not going to find anything that works for you which kind of sucks because this is a really good powder i wish they would extend the color range but this powder has been around for a really long time um so who knows if they'll end up expanding it. All right, and now that that's been on for a little bit, I'm just gonna go ahead and buff it away. So now that we have that all buffed out, I'm going to go ahead and set this powder like we did the first powder when we were priming. So same thing, grab your sponge, a few sprays, and then just go in lightly over the skin. All right, now that we have that all done, we're just gonna wait for this to dry. 
as this is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff that I'm gonna use for bronzer, blush, and highlight. For bronzer, I'm gonna go with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the shade Bronzer, <laughs> the original one, I guess. And I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Pac-Man brush, my favorite little brush that you can't get anymore, so sad. And I'm just going to start buffing this right here on my cheekbones and really blending it up. And doing this is really just gonna add back color and dimension to the face since we made ourselves look like an egg. We don't want to look like an egg. We want to look pretty. of bronzer on we're going to take our fit me loose powder just a little bit on that flat edge we're gonna go smile back smile back and bring that down And then you just want to clean it up if you went a little too crazy on the bronzer like i always do and then just buff out that line this sponge has like a nice flat edge so we're just gonna go right down the middle of the nose and then kind of snatch our nose i don't know i saw nikki tutorials do this on tiktok so Does it look even different? I mean, it kind of toned down the bronzer, but I don't know. Did it make a difference? I hope so. Then for blush, I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Blush in Toasted Almond. Get this little blush brush, and we're just going to lightly apply this onto the cheeks. I feel like there's so many styles of doing blush now, like you can do it like right underneath the eye, right here, you can do it like really high up. Um, I've just kind of been doing all of them. I put a little bit like right here, where like I would naturally get a little bit of sun. Just like a little bit on the nose. Does that look nice? I'm gonna put a little bit of blush like right here on the edge of my eye and just blend that out because why not? Is that a look? Is that something? Like, am I on to something? Maybe not. I don't know. And for like a little bit more brightness under the eye, I'm gonna take my um, Wet n Wild Contour Duo in Dulce de Leche and I'm gonna take my little elf brush and just tap it in here and really focus this like on the inner corners and how like that just brightened everything up oh yeah <laughs> i have like blush all over here i don't hate it though i kind of kind of like it like how do you guys feel about like the blush right here i kind of kind of like it i don't know i don't know i don't like it i feel like when the eye makeup is done it'll look it'll look good Okay guys, so like if you hate it right now, just wait till the makeup's done, okay? Before you judge, don't judge me. So for highlight, I do want to go with something a little bit more natural, something that's not going to be too metallic, and once my skin does start to get a little oilier, um, it's not going to make it look like a huge greasy mess. So I'm going to go in with the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, and this is just the original one. They do have a sun lighter that's more of like a goldeny tone that looks really good on medium to deep skin tones. I'm just going to take this down the bridge of the nose. Top this right there. Take a little bit right here on like the tippity top top of your forehead. Cupid's bow. Little bit on chin. Again, all these powders, we're going to set them. So 
again, we are setting our powders for the 500th time. And this is really just gonna ensure that our makeup is just like locked in. And also, it'll take any powderiness away so your skin doesn't look caked up like there's five million layers. And then also, look what this does to that highlight. It kind of just like melted into the skin and just looks like your skin is glowing. Like, that's why I love this product. Look how pretty that is. I love using this highlight on my brides, on um, younger girls who are getting their makeup done. Um, I just think this is so pretty. A little bit of a brow bone. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on an eye look just really quickly. I'll be using the ColourPop Nude Mood. And I will kind of just show this kind of sped along. I think the first shade I'm gonna go into is a Bare to Wear right here in the corner. gotta put eye primer on guys so let me just do it before <gasps> wow i almost forgot i'm gonna be going with my milani eyeshadow primer because i forgot really just focusing this on the crease on the lid and then blending it up crease lid pat it up can't believe i forgot that bear to wear I'm gonna go in with the shade O Natural. And then just take that on the outer corner and blend that into the crease. I'll take a different brush, a little bit more dense brush, and I'm gonna go into the Coco. This one's really pretty. And it's just gonna go on the outer corner. Go and we're gonna smudge this on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take a little bit of put on, put on airs, put on airs, this middle shade right here, and just lightly tap that. Oh, that is so intense. We're gonna blend that shade out with. This is called the Coco. It's a nice, rich, reddish brown. I'm gonna take a little bit of Wink Wink. This feels like a super soft shadow. We're just gonna dab that over that middle shade that we put on. Make it a little bit more brighter. I don't want it that dark. In a corner, I'm gonna go ahead and put my highlight and pop that on. And really just buff that into the inner corner, make sure everything's nice and bright and I look wake so that's the eye look i'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara i'm gonna go i'm finishing up these two um this is the lash paradise and the l'oreal voluminous carbon black um they're both the waterproof i went ahead and tried the Bretton north bad lash now it's supposed to help with curling but my eyelashes are so straight they kind of just fell so i tried that today didn't really love it but i'm gonna put on my mascara and i'll be right back for lips, I'm gonna do my favorite combo that I've been loving lately. This is my Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Spice with the ColourPop Luxe Gloss and Come Through. This combination is so pretty, I love it. And this is a dupe for Fenty's um, Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. Like, I love this. It even has like a similar smell to it, but this one smells a little bit more like caramel. It's a little bit more caramelly, but still has that like sweet, like candy like smell to it. Pop these all in. I always do this like line thing. This looks so, so weird. Let me just go across the middle. So this completes this look. 
Um, definitely when you're doing long wearing makeup, make sure, especially if you have oily skin, you're setting it really well. And also if you don't wanna like have that powdery look, have a good setting spray on hand and use a sponge to press it in. I just find pushing it into the skin with a sponge is gonna help it last so much more longer. It's gonna help the powders really set and melt into the skin and you're going to have like a more natural look to your skin. I think a sponge is gonna be your best friend when it comes to this stuff because it's gonna help layer on things really nicely. Um, and really just taking your time to really set everything, I think is gonna make a huge difference. I do use a lot of these techniques on my clients. I do get a lot of event makeup like quinceañeras, weddings, um, just events that need really, really long wearing makeup. Techniques, depending on my client's skin type, of course, is gonna be different for everybody. Everybody has different skin types, skin needs. So I always try to keep that in mind when I go into it. But for me personally, this works. I do have really aggressive oil that likes to break down makeup and make it look super gross and patchy. So this definitely has been working for me. This is hands down the best foundation in the drugstore. I love this stuff. Really great setting sprays at the drugstore. These two are really great options. Definitely do recommend these. And then the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I do carry this in my kit, not just for myself. This has an amazing color range that will work for so many different skin types. And it does have a little bit of coverage but not too much where you have to have an exact skin match. So these are really, really nice. I do even love the tones that they have for deeper skin tones. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you went ahead and liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you wanna see from me next. Go ahead and follow me on all my socials, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok, at Karina Sarah, M-U-A. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.